Frack pumps are reciprocating positive displacement pumps that contain a fluid end and a power end. It endures all types of stress, including harsh fluids and high pressure activity. The purpose of a frack pump is to push sand laden fluid into a well bore's perforation, which enables the fracturing of a formation. The flow of high pressure water and high purity quartz sand combined with a large contact area and degree of movement in an environment where anti-seize lubricants are ineffective causes substantial fusing around the fluid end suction and discharge hex nuts. iTorque has developed a second generation solution for unseizing frac pump fluid end nuts for both the suction and discharge hex nuts and for the packing retainer nuts on the opposite side. Observing the procedures and efforts currently undertaken to repair fluid end plungers that have seized, we have been told by our customers that our solution characterizes both a cost-saving innovation and a safety innovation. Our previous solution was comprised of a Stealth 36 using an ALCO reaction arm. Although the Stealth is rated up to 34,000 foot-pounds, the ALCO arm is only rated up to 22,000 foot-pounds of torque. Many customers found that additional torque is needed to break loose the most stubborn hex nuts. Application 1. Unseizing of fluid end suction and discharge hex nuts. Demonstrations with our prototype revealed that most nuts could not be unseized with less than 28,000 foot-pounds of torque and some beyond that. The Avante 35 is a robust tool that achieves 32,000 foot-pounds of torque. The hex adapters that engage the hex nuts are made of super strong VascoMax heat treated alloy steel. An adjustable inline reaction fixture extends from one foot to two feet spanning between one or two hex nuts. The major benefit of the reaction fixture is that it eliminates side load, the major cause of damage when removing the sensitive spring retainer, valve, seat, plunger, and packing retainer. Reducer sleeves are available to accommodate 3 inch hex nuts. There you go. Breaking the suction nut free required 30,000 foot pounds of torque. The adjustable inline reaction fixture reacts against the adjacent nut for safety. The reaction fixture supports the tool for hands-free operation, 
the operator stands 15 feet away for safety. Should you decide to purchase instead of leasing the unseizing kit? A capital expenditure of this type usually requires a needs assessment. This compares the all-inclusive costs associated with your current methods with the costs using the unseizing kit. Your analysis should include the shop labor to manually unseize nuts, charges from outside welding contractors or fabrication shops, the factory repair costs after all other attempts fail, including shipping, opportunity costs, or the lost revenue while the frack pump is out for repairs, costs of higher insurance premiums, should injuries raise your experience modification rate? We have assisted customers with calculations for their needs assessment that reveal a return on investment of only a few months based upon utilizing the solution at least three times per month. We offer third-party vendor financing based upon a 36-month fully amortizing lease with a $1 buyout at lease end transferring ownership. Lease customers typically realize immediate savings, even if only used one time per month. Using IRS Section 179, it's possible to deduct the entire capitalized cost as a business expense in the first year of purchase. Application 2 unseizing of frack pump fluid and packing retainer nuts. Packing retainer nut flanges are placed over the retaining nuts and are secured by pins inserted from the outside. For larger packing retainer nuts with limited clearance, the retainer nut flanges rest inside the retainer nuts. They are secured by pins inserted from the outside. <laughs>